Again. Evidently, uh, Facebook is definitely on, and we're not back yet. Facebook is definitely all right. I think we're live now. Let's um, find out. There we are. All right, I think so. Facebook is on vacation today, taking the day off because it totally kicked us out. Well, we were talking about we were um, talking about YouTube a minute ago, right? Our YouTube channel. And uh, we might be exploring that quicker than we thought. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully we didn't lose everybody. Hope you came back. I'm trying Is to see. It back? Yeah, it says we're live now. It's going really slow. There we go. All right, okay, guys. guys. So we apologize for that. Facebook is doing some crazy things. So, um... We're back. Hopefully, you guys are joining us. We can't tell who's here and who's not. Uh, yeah. Trudy's back. Okay. So, uh, as Rock and Rick was just saying, um, we're gonna we're working towards, and, and we probably shouldn't say this on Facebook, but we're working towards YouTube uh, going YouTube on Monday nights because we are having so many issues with Facebook. So, um, we apologize for cutting out. I don't even know where we were. What were we talking? I got the hiccups now. We were talking about the giveaway. Yeah, the giveaway. I don't remember. I don't know. Well, we'll wait till a few people come back on here um, and see. Way. It it's there, but it doesn't say that there's anybody on. That's weird. Yeah. So mine is working. So if you come oh, well. in, please say something. I know you did. You messed up my hair. I know that. I know. Please say something because we don't know who is on. There you go. Uh, Brittany said you tried to hide dad's face with the bag. Yeah, so. All right, so we'll, we'll put it in the comments. But um, the way you can win the bag is to, for the month of September, and it might change if we go to YouTube, but uh, just tag your friends. Once we come on in the comments, tag your friends. Uh, and whoever tags the most friends, anytime you see us live, um, we'll win the bag and we will keep up with that because what we're trying to do is build our audience and uh, help people be in the know of what we're doing in the Tri-Cities and um, trying to, to get out there and, and help promote small businesses and let you know the events and things that are going on. So uh, again, thanks everybody for supporting us with uh, Tri-City Talks Travel and Trivia. And um, I am going to uh, go over really quick some upcoming events that we are looking at. And then we're going to get right into the lesson because I don't want to get kicked out again. That's right. But yeah. um, huh. I wonder why we didn't ever I know. And it's just, see, it's not showing anybody on. One person, it says. Oh, well, we'll see. But it's all good. So um, September the 10th, there are a lot of things going on. There is a prayer walk in Hopewell hosted by OC3, mm -hmm. um, bringing prayer people together. So if you're interested in being mm -hmm. a part of that prayer walk, there will be a Hopewell High School. September the 10th, they're meeting at 8 a.m. and they will walk and pray at 9 a.m. So uh, if you want to be a part of that, make sure you go out and check it out. Our prayer team uh, is going to go out and we are going to be a part of that. Now, uh, OC3 is also doing... The revival. Y'all probably saw us today. We went live. We did a pop-up out where the uh, site is, where they're going to be doing the tent revival, which is actually right beside Rose's Pizza. Uh, and that is going to start September the 11th. Now, I do need to make a correction. Um, September the 11th service will start at 6.30, not 7, 6.30. Oh, yeah, the kickoff. Night. Yep, the kickoff night starts at 6.30, and that's school night kickoff. So, um... Coach Irby is going to be bringing a message that night, um, and they encourage our children to come, school staff, they want to pray with them. Uh, they're inviting all parents, leaders, students, teachers, the drumline, the flag girls, cheerleaders, sports players, everybody be there for the big kickoff that's going to start at 6 30 uh, under the tent in Colonial Corner. Corner. Colonial Corner, yeah. Colonial Corner. The rest of the week, um, it will be starting at 7 p.m., and it's going to go through September the 18th at 7 p.m. Yep. Pastor Bennett will be there on the night of the 17th. We're going to have speakers like um, uh, Pastor Donna Coleman out of Richmond, Apostle Margaret Hunt out of Hampton, 
Pastor Victor Torres out of Richmond, Apostle James Baker um, out of East Haven, Connecticut, Pastor Charles Bennett, and Pastor David uh, M.G. out mm -hmm. Chester. So, I want to come and be a part of that. Um, let's see. That's a lot of folks. It is a lot of folks. I know the last time it was really good. Yeah, the they went, the last, last, last year's they went for 30 days. Yeah, that was a it long It was a long one. So, um, no, 10 more days, it could have been like, you know, the people who got lost in the... Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so September the 10th, also the second annual 9-11 Memorial Ride will be at the Namazine Volunteer Fire Department. Um, that's going to start at 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. That's way out there. Mm -hmm. uh, Saturday, September the 10th at 2 p.m., the Keystone Blowout. And that's down at the um, Tractor Museum in Colonial Heights. The Keystone Tractor Museum? Mm-hmm. Keystone Tractor Museum. I'm trying to see if there's anything else on September 10th. There was a lot of stuff. All right, September 10th, Southern Virginia American Legion's Rider, Rider's Post, Springdale Avenue in Colonial Heights. They'll be doing a fish fry no, and a biking car show. You had me at fish fry. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll want to hmm. check that out. That's it. Now, all of this is on our Tri-City Talks news page. So you can check these out there. Um, on the 10th, also, Hopewell Police Department, the Sheriff's Office, actually, will be doing, and this is going to be at the courthouse at, from 10 to 3, children 12 and under, bring your bikes to get them inspected. Bring your bikes and bikes hel helmets to get them inspected. Uh, they're going to do minor bike repairs and a safety course. So... Uh, plus they're you get a certificate. A yeah, yeah, they're supposed to be they're supposed yeah, to be twenty inch BMX bicycle. Yep. So and that's a free event. You wanna go check that out with your kids. Also first responder day at the Prince George Farmers Market. That is on September the tenth, eight until noon. And they are gonna honor first responders. So they have a whole schedule. All of this is out on Tri City Talk News, so you can check it out. Yeah, um, after so after everybody goes shows up for the prayer walk on the Saturday. There's a lot of stuff to do after that, right? There's a lot of stuff going on this Saturday, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, um, now September the 15th, downtown Hopewell is having the grand opening of Artisan Alley. Mm -hmm. uh, and they'll do this during the third Thursday. This will be the last third Thursday of the year. Well, it's really? Yeah. yeah I thought it was going on for mm -hmm. a little bit long. Yeah, oh, featuring yeah. Um, Hopewell's own Magnolia Band. They'll be out there that day. This is from 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. They're, they're a pretty good band. They are a good band. So. And then um, also September 16th, 17th, and 18th, out in Amelia, they've changed the location. It used to be Rockville. Yeah. But the uh, Reedville Farm, or Redville Farm, Red Redfield Farm. There you go. I'll get it straight shortly. It's all, it's that word's in there somewhere. Somewhere. Field days of the past. Um, and that's usually a real good deal. Uh, so if you want to check that out again all the stuff is on our page October the 22nd one way motorcycle ministry uh, and the United Few MC of Virginia are partnering together for a benefit for the Falcon Children's Zion so uh, and that's going to be out of Carnegie Harley Davidson that information is there and then you don't want to forget that BB's Blessings uh, Trinitarian Nights and Tri-City Talks have partnered together uh, for an, an event on October the 15th. Um, uh, Boy, I got, hiccups. <laughs> I got hiccups going on and you got indigestion going on. You got indigestion <laughs> and it smells like an energy drink. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so let me finish this last one. So October the 15th, hmm. Phoebe's Blessings, <laughs> Trusty Talks, and Trinitarian Knights are partnering to benefit the James House. Now I got the giggles. I've I got the giggles, and, I, and we are going to be. I, I, I I'm going to just talk right over you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> we are going to be at White Bay Park, and um, and we're doing a vendor event and a ride. Trinitarian Nights is sponsoring the ride. And it's a real nice. The, the park is really nice, it's and they got nice it all fixed up nice. Yeah. They had these this great big pavilions and stuff, mm -hmm. and stuff and for are, the kids to do. Pavilion one. Yep, and there's a nice playground for the kids. And That's right. And such. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Check the page, Trusty Talks News, uh, for all these cool events that are coming up. So you can be a part of one of those. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, again, guys, we are sorry we lost the connection. 
and um, we encourage you to go check out our YouTube page um, and we, like I said we're going to start going live from there we believe to not have as many issues and problems yes so but we'll let you know before we do that um, so what's next well tonight uh, I'm gonna read a scripture and then you got a little story you can tell and this scripture pertains to that story okay or doesn't it it, do think? it does I think so uh -uh. no we're fine you keep on talking oh I thought you nope, I thought we just keep, had nope. another blowout and I thought we were gone <laughs> Yeah, keep on talking. I'm trying to post this right here because they can still see you. See you, we're still there. Hey, I'm still here. We're still there. Still I was I was scared. I thought I was somewhere where I didn't know where I was at. But you still know where you're at. <sighs> okay. Well, anyway, since I just scared you, I'm going to tell them really quick. I just posted a link for Tri-C Talks YouTube channel. Make sure you go out and subscribe. That way you get the notifications when we do something live or a pop-up there. Exactly. So, sorry. You ready? What's next? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read a scripture out of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to read um, verses 1 through 14. Okay. Um, and this has to do with blessings for obedience. Okay. All right, so. It starts, if you fully obey the Lord your God, and carefully follow all his commands I gave to, I give you today. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks. Your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. The Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people. Oops. It's messing up. Man, everything is on vacation. The Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you on an oath, if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in obedience to him. Then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they will fear you. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, in the crops of your ground, in the land you swore to your ancestor to give you. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. <clears throat> you will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. The Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top, never at the bottom. Do not turn aside from any of the commands I give you today, to the right or to the left, follow, following other gods and serving them. Uh, that's then that's a promise from God, right? Uh, about the blessings that He gives you, and it's not just, it's not just. Uh, you know, a lot of people will tell you that it's blessings in heaven that you're building up your storehouse right, in heaven right, because right. it talks about a storehouse in certain. Um, it, certain texts but it's also it's also about the the blessings that you receive on earth yeah that's uh, true. And, and because he does bless us he blesses us all the time and, and and he works miracles he works miracles in us through us and for us he sure does. all the time um and with that i'm not going to talk a lot tonight about this scripture <laughs> but you have a wonderful story don't you yes can you do it without crying yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm still in shock though. Okay. Still in shock, <laughs> but um, and and it's true, God does um bless us. But you know, I think before I get into to to the blessings and and what He does for us, He does bless us. But I think the blessings that we get come out of obedience. One mm -hmm. ourselves, mm -hmm. they come out of being faithful, and they come out of being trusting because 
in order to be obedient, you know, when we hear something from God, you know, God tells, okay, well, I want you to do this. Even if it's something as small as, hey, uh, that person needs prayer. You know, you need to go pray for them. Or, um, a, or give them a bottle of water. Yeah. Something that simple. Yeah, yeah, something simple. You know, even that person you see on the street that, that that's, that's homeless, that needs something, you know. Um, we just have a discernment. God uses us. He'll tell us, hey, go do this. And, you know, a lot of times it might not even be for the person that's in need. But it's for God to see if you're going to act in obedience and do what he's calling you to. That's right. And I've had that happen to me a lot. Mm. And yeah. um, situations where it's like, Lord, do you really, really want me to do this? Oh, I can attest to that too. You know, because <laughs> you just never know. And sometimes it's a bad situation. And, you know, it might be one that's like, really, really, really? And there's a good story. Mm. Actually, a segue here, a good story you can tell. Um, about being obedient. Remember the the one, and it, this was like on national news, I believe, about the young lady that, that, that the Lord told her she had to go stand on her head in the 7-Eleven? Yes. You remember that? Yeah. That that was craziness, and it, it was something... I don't remember the whole story. But she, it was, I'll just give you the... the kept somebody from getting shot, though. The, or something yeah, the like consolidated that. piece, but, <laughs> but what, what all boiled down to was the Lord told us like, she had to go in the, in the 7-Eleven at this time and stand on her head. By the slurpy machine and the lady thought God was crazy she wasn't sure if it was her or if it was really the Lord and this story made the news as, oh, it, Lord, as yeah. it worked out the uh, clerk the, the attendant the person working at 7-eleven was contemplating suicide and he said God if you're real you bring someone in here to stand on their head at such and such time in front of the slurpy machine mm -hmm. And the lady went in and she was obedient and she went in and she stood on her head at the time that God directed and that man did not commit suicide. That's right. So so in that, you know, no matter what it is, and, and you know, we can test the spirits, Lord just test the spirits, and we can ask again, God give us another sign, show us, show us, you know, if this is something you really want us to do, show us. And um yeah, we can do that, but but in the end, we we have to be obedient. And I think through our obedience, God re rewards us. He gives us rewards for the things that we do. And you know, over the years, um, there have been so many opportunities and chances for the Lord to have me step out and and do something to act in obedience. And and I've done it. I never question it. You know, I had a big thing happen. Uh, one night it, it was in it's in, in my book faith builders um but we had a, a lady come for a revival uh one weekend and um she did uh object ministry where she'd have an object and she would say okay lord's telling me you know maybe she had a pair of crocs you know lord's telling me you know this is for so-and-so you got to walk it out you know whatever she had something for everything and um that night, the Lord, the Lord woke me up after the first night of the conference. The Lord woke me up and told me, gave me a list of things I had to do. Like I had to go to Walmart and all these things I had to buy a grocery list. And I was like, dude, this is there's no way this can be real. What was the worst thing about that in the world is I had to wake Rick up in time. I was going to take the card, the bank card. I needed it <laughs> to go buy all this stuff. You know, and, and he's like, and I knew he was just going to give me flack. And I was like, Lord, if this is really you, when I ask for this card, you know, I, I don't want to agree if I just want to be able to go do what I had to do and hand the card right over. And I went to Walmart and all the things the Lord was telling me to buy, he gave me visions of where it would be in the store and what it would look like. And they were all, all true. It was, it was crazy. But, you know, that's when... When we when I when I acted that out, it's like the Lord showed me we, I was obedient and what He was calling me to do. And as it worked out, when I took all the stuff to this lady, um, hey Loretta, who was speaking the next day at uh, it was actually Pastor Wingate's church downtown Oakwell, but she had nothing. She had used all of her stuff the day before, and she had nothing. And she had been praying, God, you know, I need a word, I need a message. How is this going to happen? Well, the Lord used me to buy all the stuff. You know, it wasn't about me. It was about the Lord. God gets glory for everything. But I acted in obedience. So we never know what God's going to call us to. Long story short, out of that, 
Um, we got a major, 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 major blessing yesterday um, because somebody was obedient. Um, a lot of you know me from a forum. I had this awesome green Camaro that I just absolutely loved and used it for ministry. And um, when Rick got sick, unfortunately, we had to file bankruptcy and we lost pretty much everything we had. And we had to give the car up. Well, the car meant a lot to me because my dad took his last ride ever in that car before he passed away two days later. And that was his wish. That was his dying wish to ride home from the hospital in that car. And um, when we lost it, it was just, it was, it was hard for me. It was really, really hard. But um, a few months later, I saw the car in Hopewell and I freaked out because someone else had it. And I knew it was my car because on the back of the car, it says only by the grace of God. And I had that put on the car um, two weeks after we purchased it. Um, and we got that car. God made a way when there was no way. For us to be able to get that car mm -hmm. and um so that's why i put that on the car only by the grace of god because he got the glory well anyway long story short um i saw saw the car put a post on facebook a friend connected me with this the guy that bought the car and we uh we met and we became friends well as it all works out um yesterday um he called me over to his house and said, hey, let's go for a ride. You know, been a long time since you've driven your car. And he always told me it was my car. I was like, no, it ain't my car. It's your car. And uh, he always told me it was my car. As far as he was concerned, it was mine. And we went for a long ride. We, um, we came back to his house. And he said, you know, uh, the Lord really used me this morning. Church talked to me, showed me some things. And um, he told me that this car was not, was not my car. And it was time to give it away. And uh, he told me that it, it was it was you. You're supposed to get the car. So uh, he gave me the car, and that was like the biggest act of obedience in the world. You know the fact that we just he's paid it off mm -hmm. and gave me the title, free and clear, no liens or anything. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I'm still in shock. Uh, I'm still amazed what happened what's happened with all that and um for him to just obey the lord like that is amazing to me and the lord showed us a scripture that, that rick read to you in deuteronomy deuteronomy I can't deuteronomy. Say right. deuteronomy deuteronomy um but it's amazing you know if we're obedient and we stay faithful and we follow god's leading and we do all that he has us to do you know we never know when we're going to be rewarded we never know what's going to happen, yeah. but he always takes care of us, you know, and um, uh, another thing came up because I told someone about the car yesterday, and um, they, they're like, what is he, crazy? Why did he do that? Why would he do something like that? And it's like, well, he followed the leading of the Lord. This is what God told him to do, mm -hmm. you know, and they were very... Um, kind of naysayer you know just kind of i don't get it i don't understand well what are you going to do now you how are you going to pay taxes how are you going to put insurance on it are you going to keep your car and and my response was god made a way where there was no way god had this person be obedient give the car they were obedient what god called them to do god is going to provide we don't have to worry about taxes or tags or insurance because God will provide, and that's what we have to stay focused on, is no matter what's going on, if we stay faithful and we trust in the Lord, He is always going to provide, yep. and especially if we're obedient. So, um, you know, the story is, it's an amazing story, um, and, and God and how God's worked, and, and the, the, the cool thing is the car is Synergy Green, and the definition of Synergy just, it, it pulls it all together um and literally literally <laughs> you know and it's just so funny how and if you've got the book and you read the story you know god was working in it from the very beginning and all the little things that happened along the way um so you gotta if you don't have a copy of the book if you put you know faith builders in the comments we'll make sure you get a copy of the book um so that you can read the the, the story about that but I'm excited now to see the new chapter because 
not only is God going to, and we've dedicated the, the car to the Lord, we prayed over it, we dedicated it back to the Lord, but not only is he going to provide through ministry in the car with us, but uh, gosh, I cannot wait to see how God is going to work in Joe's life. Yes. Since he was so mm -hmm. obedient. This was a big deal. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, if you're just joining us, thank you for joining us. Welcome. Um, make sure you put uh, one of your rapture ready in the comments if you want a copy of the free book uh, Pastor Bennett wrote and then put Faith Builders in the comments if you'd like a copy of our book uh, Faith Builders Blueprints for Strong Foundation so you can read more about this car and how God has just been working in that situation so um, so yeah it was uh, it was a major deal yesterday we are so blessed we're so thankful God gets all the glory and it's only by His grace and, uh, you know, we want to hear, um, you know, your stories. Let us know what, what God's done in your life and, and how being obedient has, you know, the Lord has come back and, and worked through you and in you and um, who, who you've blessed or been able to bless. It's, it's just that to, to me, for Joe, he said uh, the blessing for him was to see, you know, how, how it worked for us, how we were blessed through it. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's really cool. Anyway, I've talked enough. You jump right on yeah. in. and Yes, you have. <laughs> well, the, the, I guess the moral to this, the, <laughs> we'll say the moral to the story. But anyway, the, 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 the whole point of obedience is not, is not to receive rewards. The whole point of obedience is to be obedient. But God has promised that if we are, That's right. then we will be blessed and rewarded. That's not right. only here but in heaven because we do build up in our storehouse in heaven that's right so yeah so. i got i got mine's more mine's more like a shed <laughs> maybe you got like a you got like an amazon warehouse uh no in heaven already no. i got like a shed <laughs> it's not even really one it's Look, like it's that little lean stuff and it's one of the little plastic lean to there sheds, are good treasures in sheds baby <laughs> that's right that's uh, you're right sometimes they're so right. let's get back here and look um we got some comments here Patty said she saw the post about the car brought tears to her eyes. Only God, and she's yeah. absolutely right. Only God, and he amazes us. Laura said God is good, and Joe's such a sweet boy, mm -hmm. and he really is. And Trudy says yes, he will provide a way when it looks like there is no way. And that is absolutely true, and we know. We are, we are um, a testimony to that because there have been so many things that we've been through, and God has just really provided well, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen for Joe. Me too. Uh, because, you know, it's kind of cool. Y you know it's going to happen. You know what I mean? Yep. And so it's kind of like watching It's kind of like watching a baseball game or something like that. You know something mm -hmm. good is going to happen. And, and you know. More. And, keep and, and, and all of a sudden you see like a, like a, like a walk-on triple and somebody grand slams and all this other stuff. That's and, right. And that's, how, that's what God does, you know. He sets he you does. up. He does, yeah, yeah. He sets that's you up it. for that, you know. And then he sets everything up for that grand slam and then, you know. Now, let me, um, Joe was actually Pastor Bennett's son. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Bennett's the one that wrote Rapture Ready. So, um, what a wonderful family. They are wonderful people and, um, always giving such a very giving family mm -hmm. yeah, they do a lot of, a lot of work right mm -hmm. not only here but in other places in the mission field and stuff too that's right they do mm -hmm. and with the books that pastor bennett um he actually was going to give one give them away for everybody that that wanted one tonight on the show but any funds that he makes from his books the rapture ready book um they, they all that money goes back into the mission field yeah. And he has been all over the world doing missions. And uh, as a matter of fact, this week coming up, he's going, I try to remember what state he's going out of town to do. He's going to speak. It's like Vermont or something? Maybe somewhere up north. I don't remember, but it's a little ways away. But he will be back. He's going up north somewhere. That's like a foreign country. <laughs> he will be back for the for the, um, the tent revival, though. Connecticut. Vermont, one of those places up there. I yeah, think. I don't yeah. know. I, I think it's I want to think Massachusetts Connecticut, maybe. maybe. Um, but anyway, all right. Well, it's it's almost eight o'clock. We apologize again for uh, everybody getting kicked off here a little while ago. 
Yeah, um, I don't know what's going on. It's not us. But, no, um, we kept checked. We checked our speeds, and they are quite up to par. So, anyways. Yep. So, and remember, for the month of September, when you see us pop that, up, that rhymes. What? Remember the month of September. That's right. Remember the month of September and the month of September to win our awesome bag we got here. Make sure you tag your friends in the comments. Anytime you see us live on Facebook and uh, whoever does that the most through the month of September will win this awesome Tri-City Talks bag that we will be giving away. We, we might be popping up in Tidewater here shortly. Really? Yeah. That At ain't the part of the Tri-Cities. <laughs> That is not part of the tri If you go down there, you just appreciate coming back even. That, oh, well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> but, uh, all right, guys. Well, you will be seeing us popping up. Um, we still might pop up and water. do some, some trivia here and there or wherever we go. And Because uh, that was fun. We I enjoyed I enjoyed the month of August in Tri-City Talks Trial and Trivia. Yeah, we're going to do some other things like that. Yep, and mm. we will let you know on our next show. It's pretty safe it won't be in wintertime, though. <laughs> But why not? Because it's cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to close in prayer. And um, thanks for joining us. Thanks for supporting us. And thanks for uh, for helping us this, this month on Trusty Talks Travel and Trivia. And um, we appreciate you guys. We absolutely do. But I am going to close us in prayer. And then we are going to be out. You ready? Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to just come tonight and um, be with our friends on Tri-City Talks. Thank you for all of our supporters, um, our faithful followers, and our, our friends here. Lord, we pray blessings over them. God, I pray a special blessing over Joe Bennett tonight. Lord, in his obedience and, and walking in that, God, that you just bless him greatly. Lord, and we pray that, that you would just guide us and direct us in next steps and, and how we can use this car for your ministry, Lord. Because that's what it's about, being the hands and feet of Jesus. Lord, and I pray that you just help us do that. We pray that um, everyone that watches the show is blessed, Lord, and that if they don't know you as a personal Savior, God, that they would want that relationship with you, that they would come to know you um, as their Savior, Lord, because we know that the only way to get through heaven is through your Son, Jesus Christ. So we just pray for, for those uh, around that need to know you, that the seeds will be planted, Lord, and that... Um, you will just uh, have a mighty harvest. So, Father, we glorify you. We pray you bless each one here. Lord, keep them safe through the week. And um, until next week, and God, we, we just glorify you. We ask God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All well, right. That's it from Casa del Groovy this evening. That is it from Casa del Groovy. And we got, remember, we got a pause while we're waiting for this yeah. thing to cut off. So. We do. All right. So, uh, as we usually say, peace. Peace. Until next time. See ya. See ya. Is that good? Oh, there you go. <laughs> we just got to keep it for the light. You ready? Yeah. Um, stop the video. No, I thought you already did. Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs>